curvy ladies. Looking for cute fall and winter outfit ideas? This video is for you. New here, my name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you love haul videos, vlogs, and styling videos just like this, you found your tribe. Keep on watching. I figured I would start with the outfit I have on right now because I think this is the best formula, okay, for working from home but still looking put together, all right? If you need to pop out to the store, this formula works. If you need to hop on a Zoom call, this formula works. But most importantly, it feels like you're wearing pajamas. So, to nail this formula, you're gonna need yourself a mid-weight piece of out outerwear. So not quite a coat, all right? but something that's gonna give you a little bit of warmth. In this case, it's gonna be paired with a bodysuit. And then the part that makes this the ultimate work from home outfit is going to be what you put on bottoms, which is stretchy pants. You know, if you're going into the office, more of a trouser makes sense, but if you are working from home, anybody's seen your bottoms anyway. What I like about this outfit is that I'm wearing it with house slippers in my house, okay? Um, but if I need to pop out real quick, I can, quickly swap out those house slippers for some sneakers or boots depending on where you are and how cold it is and I'm out the door. Okay. You can recreate this look so many different ways. Details, this wonderful sweater coat is actually from last year so it's no longer available but see Target, Target be smart. They brought out another version this year which is basically the same idea and what I like about this year's version, at least the one that I've seen, is that it's black and white which means you can wear it with a whole lot more stuff in your wardrobe, right? I have it on with sneakers, you can pair it with like meals if you like. It's also a really cute outfit that you can wear to the airport especially if you're gonna be on a long haul. Let me know what you think about this look. Will you be recreating this? Is there anything you would change? So my hope for this video is that you'll be able to check it out and get some outfit inspo. But if there's anything at all that I share in this video that you're interested in, make sure to check the description box down below because I will link anything that's linkable um, for you guys in the description box down below. Also, I found a dupe for something that you guys have been asking me about that has been sold out since forever. So keep on watching. So the next look I actually wore to a workshop at Facebook. If you watch my live, you know that I am doing a fellowship for creators of color. I wanted to be comfortable, but I also wanted to be cute and just, you know, bring in my little bit of my personality. So I started off the look with this utility dress, shirt dress, which you will not be able to guess where it's from. And I feel like it's also on sale, FYI. I actually picked up this dress from Walmart. I was doing a collaboration with them on Instagram. I've fallen in love with shirt dresses and wrap dresses this year. They're super flattering, especially if you have a little bit of a tummy. And I always wanna just put my best foot forward when I go to these like networking events. I don't wanna wear anything that makes me feel uncomfortable and like I'm pulling or I'm tugging or I have to wear shapewear. Like I just wanna be me. Okay, and so that's what I like about this dress. It has pockets in the front and the side. So, you know, you're always getting like things, cards, all these little things when you're at these like workshops. Perfect for that. Um, and I paired it with a pair of white boots. This is something that I've gotten so many DMs about on Instagram because I've been wearing the heck out of these because cowboy boots are trending so hard this year and I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on these. Um, but I found a dupe for you guys because somebody DM'd me and she was like, every time they say boots are white calf, they never fit my calf, they're lying. Sis, I understand. <laughs> so I found them in white calf and extra white calf and it will be linked for you in the description box down below because the girls on Instagram were not having it. How come they sold out? And I'm like, but I shared it with you when I bought it last year. Y'all didn't listen. Okay, let me stop. I wanted to add a pop of color to the look. Like I feel like the green is very much like khaki, very neutral. The boots also cream, very neutral. And I just wanted to add a little flair. I went with a printed headband that I recently picked up and it has a lot of fun colors in it. There's some orange, there's some green, there's some pink. So I knew that I could pull from the colors in the headband. And that leads me to this outfit's tip, which is 
don't be afraid to add some color to your outfits this fall and winter. You can easily do this through accessories. And it doesn't have to be over the top or in your face. Like in the case of this look where I tied the pop of green in the bag to the pop of green in the headband. I called it in my first haul of the season, but cargos y'all have taken over. And as soon as I saw these cargos, it was the quickest add to cart I ever did. I love that it's high waisted, it has the pockets, but the cut is kind of like trouser-like. I feel like it's really versatile because I can dress it up or dress it down. I paired it with a biker jacket and a black layer underneath. And this is a super quick and easy outfit that you can style and style to run errands or if you're going to a casual dinner or maybe like to a football game, something like that. I think my tip for this look would be if you're going to be wearing something oversized on the bottom to at least have a layer that's fitted like the inner layer because it really helps with your proportions and kind of balances out the silhouette wet like I would not wear an oversized shirt with cargo pants however as you guys can see the jacket is technically oversized but because I'm wearing that layer underneath that's fitted to the body it all balances itself well speaking of color that leads me to the next outfit which I wore actually wore to shoot some content if you're a newsletter subscriber make sure to check out the latest newsletter the latest newsletter where we cover fall and winter essentials. This outfit was the cover for that. Um, I fell in love with this pink jacket as soon as I saw it because it was totally taking me back to OG Isabel Marat. If you don't know, I feel like she was the designer that made this jacket thing a thing and this jacket was giving me all those vibes for a way, 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 way less coin. Okay, way less coin. I love the pink, love the cream, I love the brown. And I would say if you're someone who wants to do color, but you know, you're just not like wanting to look like a rainbow, this is a very subtle way to do it. I paired the jacket with a cream base and then I went with brown shorts and I know you guys were like on me about the shorts from my first fall haul. The reason why I didn't link them y'all was because they were sold out. If I don't link something nine times out of 10, it's cause it's sold out, okay? If I link something similar, it's cause it's sold out. Not because I'm trying to hold out on you. It's cause it's sold out, okay? <laughs> so I found y'all a dupe and to me these shorts these shorts are better these shorts are better they just fit so good normally I always have an issue with like the waist being too big when it fits in the hips but because this is like an a-line cut short it fits so good on right here I'm literally begging for them to bring it back in stock in black this is also actually the outfit that I featured in my um, reel that I did about the three color rule which the girls are loving so if you haven't seen that make sure to check it out and if you're not following me on Instagram girl let's be friends and for size reference I'm wearing the jacket in a size 18 in case you're interested in it I'm wearing the shorts in a size 2x I would say they both fit pretty true to, well the jacket kind of runs big but I like that look so you decide for yourself if you want it a little bit more fitted, size down. Um, and the shorts to me fit pretty true to size. So I also paired it with the white boots. I told you, these white cowboy boots, y'all gonna be sick of it. Okay, y'all do you remember? Y'all know the sound is that you're gonna be sick of me. Y'all gonna be sick of these boots because I have worn these boots so much. If you're someone who's committed to adding color to your wardrobe for fall and winter, you you need some lighter colored boots because black is just too harsh. So I paired it with those boots and that was like the entire look. So let me know what you think about this look. Oh, oh, oh. Um, let's talk about the tip. So I went with a cream base and y'all this Cream base happens to be this turtleneck. Y'all, these turtlenecks, I have them like in four, maybe even five colors because they're so good for the price. They're tissue thin, which means you can start wearing them now. One of the key things to layering well, especially when you're a curvier girl, if you don't want to look like bigger than you are, you have to invest in some tissue thin layering pieces. And this turtleneck 
is it like you just need these turtlenecks because they come in clutch especially as we go into the fall and winter as I was saying earlier, I have fallen in love with wrap dresses and shirt dresses. And here we go. We've got another wrap dress. I love this blue color. As soon as I saw it, it just popped out to me. If you're looking for something to wear for Thanksgiving, if you're hosting, if you're attending, maybe it's the first time you're meeting the family. I think it's just a great item to have in your wardrobe because it's super flattering. You don't have to worry about Spanx. It's going to just skim the food baby so you can eat as much as you want and then it has little fun details like the puff sleeve on it the only thing that i don't love about this and i would not recommend this if you are traveling especially if you don't have access to an iron or a steamer is that it does crease it's kind of like a lightweight um cotton type fa fabric which makes it great for layering because i feel like pieces like this you could wear like long johns tights leggings you could layer a turtleneck underneath it like you could do a lot with a piece like this right but i did just wanted to mention it to you i'm wearing it here in a size extra large this is what i wore to brunch i wanted to link up with some of my og blogger friends it's funny to see like how our lives have blossomed over the years but anyways and i don't know about you guys but like nowadays when i'm buying bags i want to make sure that i can get in and out of the bag easily and the strap is also pretty forgiving as well um and this is what i wore so like i said it's perfect for thanksgiving if you're looking for something and you don't have something already i paired it with some black boots and some sunglasses and i was gonna pair it with a hat but i was like mm, that's doing a little too much i actually spotted it while i was in new york the last time and i went ahead and ordered it online because they were offering 25 percent off you know that people have their preferences some people prefer to shop in person other people prefer to shop online but i can't remember the last time i went to the mall and had a positive experience shopping in the in-person point is i personally find that you get a better deal shopping online at h&m than you do in person and speaking of deals y'all i'm going to be rounding up all of my favorite outfits okay so that you guys can shop all the pieces on black friday and during cyber week because you know the deals will be dealing okay and i have a every year i always do a roundup of the best things to shop in the sale um, I've even expanded it now. I no longer just do clothing. I do home decor. I do beauty. If you haven't taken a moment to check out my blog, I will put a link. Well, actually, it's always linked in the description of my videos. Check it out, okay? And the tip for this look would be if your outfit is starting to feel very blah, add a print, okay? And I love a leopard because it's basically a neutral, the brown tones, the blacks. It's also a great bridge in between brown and black. It helps to soften the harshness of black. And if you don't own or have any leopard accessories, I recommend you grab one because it's a timeless print. My hope for this video is that you got some great outfit inspo. Use as ideas to put together your outfits and if there's anything at all in the video that you need to kind of recreate these looks, links to everything will be in the description of this video. can see but I already have some of my Christmas <laughs> decor out <laughs> y'all I posted a reel on Instagram and the girls were like it's too early I may or may not have started in October do not judge me okay <laughs> anyways if you're like me and you are okay all about that Christmas spirit the holidays the decor the fashions all of that make sure you're following me on Instagram because I share a ton more in real time from outfits to home decor and I actually have a bunch of posts where I share my favorite home decor pics for the holiday and I would love for you to you know come on over 
And if you do come over, my DMs are always open. Say hi. So if you want to know where something is from, from an older video, be sure to follow your girl on LTK because that is where I link 99.9% .9 of the items that I feature um, or just anything you see in my surroundings. It's probably linked there and you can find my LTK via the shop my outfits link down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed.